Screw Yar, Bones here, and I'm back with my Imperial Agent. Um, Chapter 3, I think. Yeah. But uh, before we head to Drama Castle, it looks like we got some convos with some of our companions here, and then probably gonna do um, Kaleo's um, mission here uh, to go to Huda. So, let's start with Loken. Cypher, I had the most delightful conversation with Master Vector. Did you... I'm getting a feed on my earpiece. One moment. I apologize. That's the third time this week one of my security alarms has gone off. I take it these alarms don't particularly worry you? I monitor all my safe houses as a matter of course. I have a few dozen around the galaxy. A, a precaution, really. I haven't needed them in years. Usually when an alarm goes off, it means a child has come exploring or a rat has slipped through the ventilation shafts. You're not going to double check? Hardly worth the bother. I really should dismantle the safe houses altogether. But old habits die hard. Besides, I hold out hope that I'll need to go to ground someday in one last exciting adventure. Remind me not to underestimate you, Doctor. If we ever need a sanctuary... You'll have whatever humble aid I can provide. Also, uh, changed Jalair's cybernetics made it uh, instead of red, I just chose the white and gray. I thought it fit better with the overall theme of the squad. You said you wanted to talk? Yes, sir. Ensign Rena Temple, formerly of the Chiss Expansionary Defense Force, reporting for combat drills. I can show you a few things. What brings this on? Frankly, I need the practice. No one ever taught me covert maneuvers. If you've got time, grab your equipment. I'll find a private spot. Thank you, sir. All right. I think I've sweat enough for one day. Any last words of wisdom for your freshly transferred ensign? Never let anything distract you. No one can compensate for your errors. I'm confident it isn't so dire. But I take your point. You know, my father used to come home from exercises freshly scarred. I was 12 before I realized his training drills were intelligence operations. He was captured twice, but he wouldn't let me worry, no matter how bad it got. I didn't know your father was part of intelligence. I thought I'd mentioned it. He was a cipher. Thank you for the lesson. A few more and I'll be infiltrating enemy camps with the best of them. We'll make a monster out of you yet. And I don't think Khalil has anything to say because we got our mission. Agent, we heard back from the diplomatic service about our proposed alliance with the Kilik colony. Our report was soundly ignored. It seems we have less credibility than we thought. You don't sound very concerned. A colleague named Folner S. sent the update on our report along with a message. He wants us to call him, accompanied by our handler. We believe he means you. Put him through. We'll see what he wants. Master Hillis, I'm so glad you got my message. How are you? How's Anya? Anora. We haven't seen her in some time, but we hear she's well. And your son? I'm stationed on Balmora, still hoping to join the Shadow Fist. And you must be Cypher 9. It's my privilege to meet you. Rest assured, I went through channels to arrange this. Imperial Intelligence has agreed to loan me Vector so long as you're amenable. Vector contacted you about a Killick Alliance. Why would you need him? My superiors don't see the wisdom in Vector's advice. I do. Yet I lack the authority to force the issue. Someone is blocking you? Tarab, Sabini, the usual crew. If I'm to win them over, I need influence. Vector, with your ties from the service and the colony's knowledge, I could amass a string of victories. And the more I succeed through your consultations, the better chance your Killick Imperial Alliance comes to pass. What's your take on all this? He wants us to play politics. 
But that is how things are accomplished. Perceptive man. I'll be in touch with specifics. We appreciate your help, Agent. We'll make it worthwhile to you, to the Empire, and to the Colony. Okie dokie. And that's all he has. So let's go to Hutta first. And then after that, German Kass. Hutta. I didn't realize how big my character looks when like, standing next to my other companions. It's kind of funny. Heck on this slime ball. Up a planet. Remember, we're not here to make trouble. You start something, I get unhappy. Calio, of all the gifts you've sent to me, this is truly the finest. An agent of Imperial Intelligence. How marvelous. Cleo said you needed help. We're willing to work with you. You believed her? Weezer. Kaleo has been selling information to the Revolutionary Edge Brigade ever since she joined the Empire. What are you doing? Imperial security data, spaceport blueprints, the names of powerful people, useful things. But now, she's gone beyond the call of duty. As if I didn't see that coming. Shut up! This wasn't what we agreed to. Why bother keeping it private when your associate dies anyway? She's more useful dead than alive. Her hands and eyes can get us through biometric security scans. This isn't a harvest job. Then I apologize for misreading our agreement, but this is too promising an opportunity to pass up. I fought the eagle in his nest, as terrorists go. You're barely worth a footnote. Damn it, Agent! No mercy. Hey, for once I didn't start it this time. You were never a believer, but siding with the Empire? I didn't want to pick a side. So yeah, I sold him a few secrets. He paid better than you do, and it's not like I got you in trouble. You're only digging yourself in deeper. Why? What's the big deal? I didn't talk about the missions. I'm not stupid. He was into bombing spaceports and raiding transports, not espionage and conspiracies. The Empire gave you a job. It gave you protection. In return, you sold us out. What us? I didn't sell you out. I kept you from knowing for your sake. You should know by now that I am never going to care about the Empire. Not like you do. Not at all. All this time, I knew what you were like. But I thought we could work together. Maybe I was wrong. I can't trust you anymore. That's too bad. Because I haven't changed. Let's get out of here. Well. Was to be expected. Let's continue on to German Kass. Also, yeah, I switched to, uh, back to my mercenary build. I thought it would fit this cybernetic mode a bit better imperial terror and all that yay quarters nope. general rakton and darth barris request additional agents relay to station seven updating tactical projections i have three fixers who need extraction from the vuta 
Listening posts are done, but... Sir, go on ahead. I'll have the Minders debrief your team while you wait for Keeper. It looks like you're in crisis mode. What's going on? It's been like this since the fighting intensified. We've rushed training, gone to 16-hour shifts. Sir, Operation Kingstalker needs you. I have to go. I'm sure we'll talk more. That was a cool reference here to Rakdin and Barris. Leo Janus, I'll be interviewing you now. Last girl who tried broke her jaw. Don't be like her. It isn't my office anymore, but Keeper is occupied, and I thought we should talk. It's been a long time, Agent. I haven't seen you since Eradication Day. Keeper said you were promoted to Minister of Intelligence. Yes, my wife says the position suits me. Scan complete. No listening devices found. Broadcast mode. White noise, ten minutes, then leave. We may as well be honest. I know about the stolen files. I know you discovered your brainwashing and freed yourself. And yes, I was responsible. I gave my life to the Empire. Is this how you reward loyalty? The Sith wanted you under control. You survived Darth Jadis. How long before you defied another on the Dark Council? The programming was a safeguard. And if I hadn't approved it, you'd be dead. I don't plan to tell anyone you're free. The Republic had the keyword. Where did they get it? That's an excellent question. The SIS should never have possessed Imperial brainwashing codes. Arden Koth's shuttle was found abandoned in space without any data on your shadow arsenal. And according to our records, there's no evidence of an Agent Hunter ever existing. He doesn't want us finding any evidence of himself or the operation. Agreed. Given what we know, I find that disturbing. Someone, your hunter or his employer, is manipulating this war for his own ends. Someone with access to both Republic and Imperial resources. This someone gave Arden Koth your keyword. We need to find out who and why. Last time I saw Hunter was on Quesh, but he's long gone by now. Fortunately, the trail is still warm. Yesterday, a man fitting Hunter's description boarded a shuttle to the Eisen Four asteroid colony. Nine hours ago, we received this message. Imperial Fleet Command, this is Representative Omana Trog of the Ison 4 Mining Colony. We have been monitoring your victories in this sector. While we continue to accept refugee transports, our defense systems are minimal and our population is 90% civilian. We cannot afford a confrontation. Under Republic law, I am authorized to discuss terms of surrender all weapons powering down. Our forces will arrive there tomorrow. We don't know if the colony's surrender is related to Hunter's arrival, but I want you after him. If Hunter is still at the colony, I'll find him. Very well. We'll speak again soon. <laughs> My agent just looks so freaking menacing with the helmet on. But it looks like we're going to a colony. Well, this doesn't look promising. Oh, is this where I do the kick? I think it is. It stinks in here. Cripes, what happened? Stop right there, you slime. No Imperial sets foot in my home. Your colony surrendered. The Republic won't protect you. And you think you can threaten me? Tell me what's going on. Piece of filth. Someone sabotaged colony control. It started two hours after the surrender. First the tram accident, then the air filters, and the decompression. Assassin protocols and the medical droids? We surrendered. Why did you do it? I'm the one asking questions. Are you going to cooperate? I think I'd rather die. Sedative administered. 
lethal overdose possible. Well, oh, is he? All right, this is not quite dead. Still alive, not for long though. If you want to talk, make it fast. I need to know if you've seen an SIS agent. Codename Hunter. What? The SIS? Ugh. He went to colony control before we lost contact. I don't know if he made it out. But now it's sealed up tight. No one could make it past the... Past the... Colony control. You've been very helpful, officer. I don't get queasy, but even I've got limits. Let's find your guy and get out. Alright. I guess it was more of a mercy killing. Identifying colony control systems locked down. Enter code. Remote access in progress. No hunter, but a lot of really weird tech. Hate to say it, but maybe we should call your bosses. Ison 4 Colony to Imperial Intelligence Headquarters. Secure routing. This is Cypher 9. There's some sort of device here. Cypher 9? I got your report, but we can barely read you. What's going on? Most of the colonists are dead, and the control center is a wreck. Hunter might be responsible. I'm linked into the colony's communications relay. Hmm. Strange tech interference. Fixers don't recognize it, but I can shut it down. <laughs> Followed me. You cut off control. I'm a little put out. Not that it really matters. I'm long gone. I got my massacre, and besides, it was for propriety more than anything. We have unfinished business. Leave the tech behind and face me. Generous offer, but I'm going to say no. Look, I don't have anything against that place, but if you want a war to start right, you've got to grease the wheels. When the Republic hears that the Empire slaughtered thousands of colonists who surrendered, there won't be any more peaceful resolutions. Why make this conflict bloodier than it has to be? I'm making the war exactly as bloody as it has to be. Time for me to go, and you need to stop coming after me, Cypher 9. Because without anonymity, you won't last long, and I can make your operations very public. Blast. I couldn't trace him. I'll pull what I can from the machinery, but he's more right than he knows. The survivors are a problem. You want them dead? I'll make them dead. Sir, it's... If they spread word, rebellions will start on half the captured planets. You can buy us time to prepare. Oxygen generators at these coordinates. Distress beacons here. Eliminate them all, and death squads can take care of anyone left. We'll see you back home. Guess we're going scorched earth. But I guess that's uh, nothing new for the Empire.
Is there really thousands of colonists on this one ship? Or station, I guess? I don't know how big it is. You and me, getting good. Must be pretty sizable, at least. Or maybe there's, uh, other ships. I don't know. Big boy droid. Scrap them. Might as well. Systems failing. Evacuate the colony immediately. Well, job's done. Sorry, colonists. Nothing personal. The Emperor and his proxies have made their intent clear. Their fleets are entering the core systems. They have broken the Treaty of Coruscant. They're captives. Our surrendered colonies are going silent. Let there be no mistake. We are at war. Display off. Tell me, Cypher, what's your assessment of your mission at Tyson IV? The mission was a failure. The target escaped, and I couldn't prevent the massacre. But you found the device used in colony control, and that's what we needed. Fixer 12 recognized the override technology from Operation Starbender eight years ago. That mission was also an anomaly. How are the new watchers working out? Their brains are faster than mine, sir, and they don't need as much sleep. This generation seems promising. It's been a while since we spoke in person, sir. Tell her about Starbender. Starbender was a disaster, or it should have been. A pirate fleet was about to destroy an Imperial base when the pirate's flagship exploded. It was sabotaged by unknown persons. We were saved using the same technology that destroyed Ison 4. Realizing that, I reviewed other lucky incidents, Operations Morning Crest and Vanity, looking for other occurrences of this technology. That's when you found the recording? Yes. Caught by accident four years ago, simultaneous with Morning Crest. These people have been intervening in our affairs. I assume you recognize the voice. I recognize the servant, but not the master. Yes, go on. 
At the Minister's suggestion, the Watchers and I began searching the unsolved case files for patterns of outside intervention. We found 62 relevant incidents so far. The oldest go back centuries, before the Empire revealed itself to the galaxy. But nine are from the past five years. Whom do you deem responsible? In my analysis, an organization with espionage training and extensive resources, unaffiliated with the Republic or the Empire. Motivations unknown. Hunter tried to use me, and then he tried to kill me. I want to return the favor. With the Republic at our doorstep, now is not the time to be chasing conspiracies and ghosts. But we have little choice. Someone is manipulating this war. Someone who destroyed the Shadow Arsenal and Eisen Four, Who gave the SIS your keyword. I need you to find these invisible agents before they do something catastrophic. One way or another, this is my last mission from you. Perhaps. Do the job first. We've identified 13 possible leads on the enemy, all off-world. We'll narrow those down by the time you reach your ship. Good. Get an hour's rest, then return to work. I have a conference with Darth Barris and the Minister of War. I'll keep this operation secret as long as I can, but our foes will find out. Be wary. Okay, let's return to our ship and then I'll end things there. This is Watcher 6 to Cypher 9. Initial target assessment is complete. Recommend you proceed to Planet Belsavis for operational briefing. On my way. Any details yet? My conclusions would be misleading. Uploading hyperspace coordinates and new security codes. Be aware that in times of war, clearance must be reconfigured every six hours. Watch your six out. This whole conspiracy tripe, you really think we're gonna find something? I think prudence is a virtue in times like these. They sent a summary briefing file, sir. Whatever you need, we'll be ready. You haven't had it easy since coming on board. Everything that's happened. Oh, I haven't followed half of it, but I'm committed to trying. Yeah, all right. Strap in. All right. The beginning of the end. And that's where I'm going to pause it for this episode. We're going to go to Bell Savis next time. So that'll be interesting. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, as always. And I'll see you next time. Bones out. Thank you.